Hey everyone, welcome back to Paper Scissors Wool. Um, I've got some paper to show this week. Um, I went to the opening of the new Dimmick store in Adelaide, or the new site anyway, uh, the other week when they opened up. They had their grand opening on a Wednesday, which happens to be my day off work. Um, and I had a doctor's appointment in the city in the morning, so it just worked out really well that I got to go pretty much as they opened doors. Well, I went a little bit later because there was a huge queue. Uh, they'd been kicked out of their old site, so they they moved into a new site which is the Regents Theatre and not being an Adelaide native I wasn't I didn't even know there was a theatre there that there used to historically be a theatre um, above basically Regents Arcade um, but yeah so they've moved into like level one of Regent Arcade um, and in this really beautiful um, spot uh, I took a couple photos but yeah they've made it quite nice inside um, they've got some more space although it didn't feel very very spacious at the time because I was there on opening day it was very very busy they opened up at 9 a.m. on the Wednesday and they were doing like a giveaway so the first 100 people in line got um, entered into a draw for uh, you know what were they calling it a year supply of books or something like that um, now it started it was raining on the morning of the opening and I know that Adelaide people hate rain they seem to think that if it's raining outside they just shouldn't leave their homes so like people in Adelaide when there's even a tiny amount of rain suddenly the city is dead um, so I half expected at 8 38 am that like no one would be out there i knew that with adelaide you either get pretty much the entire city comes out for an event or no one comes out for an event so i was half expecting no one to be there because of the rain or like hundreds of people and it was actually the latter there were hundreds of people so i got to rundle mall around 8 30 8 40 and there was already a queue going down most of the mall and as I got like a coffee and some breakfast that queue just grew and grew and got longer and longer and this is as it's approaching 9 a.m. on a weekday so most people would have been in a queuing up before work um, but yeah it, it looks like good fun so I went in a little bit later maybe around 9 30 ish um, there was no more queue to get in but as soon as I got upstairs up the escalators um, it was packed and the cues for the till were like snaking through kind of the whole store so it had a good vibe um, not very COVID safe obviously but was a lot of fun and so I decided to um, splurge a little bit and pick up some things that I wouldn't have otherwise probably bought um, but what I found there uh, I just thought I'd show you um, first of all, I got a Pusheen the Cat sticker book just because, I don't know, I love Pusheen. He's a fat gray cat. Uh, she, sorry, she's a fat gray cat and I love her. She has all the cutest, like, you know, she's hanging out with donuts. She's got, un there's unicorn Pusheen, there's mermaid Pusheen. She's got her noodles and her hot dogs and everything. She's just so cute. Um, so I thought I'd splurge on some stickers for myself because I love it. Is this her in a bathrobe with a hot chocolate? Yeah, how cute is that? And nap time, like that's just me. That's me taking a nap, yep. Um, so that was the sticker book. That was $6.99 from Dimmicks. Yeah, lots of fun. Um, they had other sort of gifty sets. I also picked up this book that I'd had my eye on growing up in Australia. Um, it's meant to be from people from kind of a wide variety of backgrounds who often either um, of Aboriginal background or of um, uh, immigrant backgrounds whose parents might have migrated to Australia and then what it's like to grow up as, as a non-white Australian in in Australia um, so I grabbed that as well I thought that would be interesting it's kind of short stories from we have people like Benjamin Law, Meg Dejubansky, um, Stan Grant, Tara June Winch so yeah lots of interesting names that I thought would be exciting that one's $30 you can see I haven't taken off any of the price tags um, so yeah this was the one that actually I was I was quite a kind of quite excited about um, and the night before I went to Dimmix I'd, I'd purchased I spent a lot a lot a lot of money on stationery online um, and so I wasn't at all expecting to buy stationery but when I saw this notebook <laughs> I was like I actually cannot pass this up <laughs> um, 
I'm really impressed with this notebook, but uh, I haven't I haven't used it or anything, but just looking at it in the store, I was really impressed. So I decided I had to get it. Um, we'll start with, let's see, like the brand and the price. So it was $25, not a cheap notebook, but then you can see that it's relatively high quality. Like we'll go through some of the features, I think. Um, so you'll see why it's $25, I guess, um, or why I was willing to spend that. Um, so we've got a couple brand names on here. And to start with, it's called, so it's by Design Works Inc. Inc. I-N-K, not I-N-C, so that's kind of cute. Um, it, we've also got standard issue supplies, so I think that must be one of their sub, sub um, groups within that sort of brand name. Now that brand name also sits under a wider brand name, which is the Gentleman's Hardware International Limited, which is a UK brand. Um, and they have like an Australian subsidiary as, as well. Uh, oh, actually it's designed in the USA. So maybe it's, maybe it's a US original, but um, I just, I just have to say like, can people please stop putting gender specific, like stop gendering your pro products. Um, Gentlemen's Hardware, they were selling at Dimmick some other products from Gentlemen's Hardware that was like, there was like a bike repair, you know, um, tube repair, repair kit. Men aren't the only ones who get popped tires on their bicycles. Can we not like make this a gentleman's hardware thing? Um, there was a multi-tool and uh, there, you know, a couple other things. And I was like, why can women not use these things? Stop putting genders on your products for the love of God, please. Uh, anyway, so that's just my little rant about gentleman's hardware. Um, but the rest of, they've obviously tried to move away from that a bit to go with these other brand names, acknowledging that, uh, that women buy things too. Um, so this notebook came, at least at Dimmicks, they had it in two different colors. I think they had it in like a, a gray or black. I can't remember what the other color was, but it was boring. And then there was this lovely green color that I really liked. So we've got features, 192 pages with day and month headers. We'll have a look at that three ribbon markers, um, yeah, sorry. So three, uh, beyond the traditional two that you get with like a bullet journal, we've got three in different colors. So there's two shades of gray and a, a black or a dark gray, um, yeah. And then we have a bullet template. So you can kind of write in the front of the book um, what your key, like it's a bullet key essentially. Now I thought that was funny because as we go inside, you will see that the book is not a bullet journal. So why on earth would you have a bullet key when you're not a bullet journal? But it does have this like line down the side, I guess, where you could be using your bullets. I guess that's the intention of that. But I just thought that was funny. Um, it's not a bullet journal. Um, it has an elastic pen holder, which is this one here built into the spine, which I think is really fascinating. Um, you don't get a lot of those. You tend to get them off the side here if they're built in. Um, but yeah, that was quite clever. It's maybe a little bit hard to get some pens in, like a bigger pen isn't gonna fit as well, but it does stretch. So um, yeah, it's a nice solid band, like that. that's a good solid inch and a bit um, of, of elastic. To, so that's gonna keep your pen very tight and it's keeping it close to the spine so it's not taking up a whole bunch of extra space, which is nice. Um, that's, that was a nice feature I liked, um, the, the very built-in spine-based elastic. Um, it has an, uh, it says ID badge on cover. Now, all that means is it's got the property of, and you can write your name. Uh, what's the subject of the book, book number from dates to dates. I love that sort of thing. That's the sort of thing that I'll add, um, with my Leuch term stickers to the cover of my book, um, especially when I finished the book. Um, but yeah, that's really great. Uh, what else do we have? We have an elastic closure. So that's this guy here. That's helpful. And we have information pages. Okay, so let's take a look inside. When we first open up, we do have, this was another thing that impressed me. There is a template, like there's a plastic template just stuck in the book and it's got a little envelope to hold it and everything. I thought that was super cute. Um, it's got a, a mini ruler, which is really helpful. Um, it's got, ooh, I'm holding that. Oh, upside down, there we go. Upside down and backwards. Um, 
It has um, different like stencils that you can use, which I know some people use with their bullet journals, so that can be really helpful. I don't know if you can see that. Well, well now I'm just making it really difficult. Um, but yeah, I find the ruler actually is probably the most useful thing. I'm constantly looking for like a bookmark ruler where um, where I can see. I know I know that High Life or there's a couple brands that do one that bookmark like it clips onto your pages and it has a ruler but for some reason the ruler bit the markings are facing inwards so you actually have to take it off as a bookmark in order to measure something as opposed to just like having it in the book and being able to measure anyway that's that's my little weird thing that i'm on um so a little stencil there in a little envelope that's very cute it has your custom bullet key and so there are some bullets printed just there um, so that you can do your key it has world time zones so how everything relates to uh, i don't know it looks like it's relating to new york as opposed to greenwich um, london here yeah anyway all all how they're relating to other cities then we have more personal information where you can add uh, more detail about your contact details, phone number, address, email, whatever. In case of emergency, so an emergency contact. And then we've got the celestial planisphere, which is quite cute. You've got the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere as far as what stars you expect to see at different times of year. I think that's quite cute. I have no idea what this is. Oh, sorry, that's the key for the different um, constellations, which is great because I'm always wondering about constellations. I know there's apps for that, but I don't really do phone apps um, that often. So like, I think that's cute that I could learn some of the constellations in the southern hemisphere all right flipping over a page so we've got our two pages that are glued together and annoyingly one of them is the start of the notebook that appears to be the beginning of the notebook um, that's gonna be a hard page to write on but whatever uh, we have our um, we have like conversions or equivalents so volume and weight uh, length fraction and decimal equivalents conversion charts for length, mass and weight, metric to standard, um, temperature and speed. So any mathematic conversions you might be wanting, they're right there in the book. I love that. I love having that built in. Uh, then we start on page one. Now the pages are not numbered, you can see. Um, so it's not the best for bullet journaling. There's not an index or anything, uh, but it's still a really great notebook. And if you're not a bullet journaler, this is, this is an excellent, um, excellent notebook. They've got every month and 31 days across the top. So you can just circle where you are, uh, what date, what date you're working on and you've got a little thing for subjects so you can um, say what this page is all about uh, we have the sort of uh, checklist down the side little check boxes um, where you can use your bullet key actually I'm gonna flip this page because that's way too hard and then um, across the top here you've even got like markings that look like they're probably about a centimeter or five millimeters or something like that uh, wide um, so if you did want to do lines down the page it's quite easy because those also line up at the bottom so you could quite easily get a ruler out and do lines across the page at regular intervals so that's quite helpful that's cute um, that goes through the whole notebook and yeah and then on our back page that's again glued together we have a holiday overview um, this one is showing 2021 through 2025 uh, so obviously currently we're almost halfway through 2022 um, but yeah it's showing uh, different days now these holidays I am seeing now are very US based um, because the way the reason I would say that is because for any other holiday, so they do have holidays for other countries, like here's a Canadian one, um, here's UK and Australia, but they've specified that they are Canada, UK and Australia. Whereas with the American holidays like Flag Day, no other country celebrates a Flag Day, surely, or Halloween or Columbus Day. No one, no one celebrating Columbus Day because that is obviously very specific to the US. Um, they haven't put in brackets US. 
So obviously it's a US centric holiday thing, but it is nice that they do show um, like Boxing Day and stuff like that. They do show Canada Day um, and uh, holidays in other countries. What else do we have? We have Anzac Day, um, Easter Monday, Holy Saturday. Interesting. I didn't know that the Saturday before Easter was called Holy Saturday, but we do have Good Friday in there and stuff. And then on the very back page, and this is even, this is glued down to the back cover, is a um, Calendex, which is quite nice for important dates. So you can put birthdays. Um, that's what I tend to use Calendexes for. That's what they're called, right? Yeah, I'm not making that up. So that's really great. I thought that was a great notebook with a lot of really nice built-in features that I like. Um, and it, yeah, it just has like, it has everything you could want except for, you know, except for the bullets and the page numbers if you're a bullet journaler. Um, but it's hard to find a notebook that has all of that. You can find like moleskins will often have some of these elements. They'll have the world clock or the world map or conversions, but they won't have things like the calendex at the back. Like I just think it has more, more features in it that uh, a standard worker person notebook user is gonna want than almost like any other brand I've seen out there. Um, obviously with a bullet journal, you kind of, you can create your own calendexes and you can add in these bits and pieces, um, but to have them already printed there is really nice. Um, so I thought that was a beautiful notebook and definitely worth $25 um, if you're a stationary lover like me. And I don't know why you would be watching this channel if you weren't a stationary lover, because that's all I ever talk about. Anyway, so that was my Dimmix mini haul. Not much, not much of a haul, but um, uh, got a couple items. Uh, and then obviously because I was on Rundle Mall and in the city, I had to stop in at Kiki K because how do you, how do you pass up Kiki K? Anyway, um, while I was there, I grabbed one of these, which is their little lunch bag. Um, I've actually bought one of these before, but it was in the dark green because uh, they didn't have the teal color. And obviously you can see from my nails, teal, this color is like, I, I live in this color. Everything I own is this color. My phone, where, where's my phone? My phone is this color. My water bottle is this color. Like everything I own, literally, across my desk at work, across my stuff at home, is that color. So obviously if you bring out a lunch bag in that color, I'm gonna buy it. Now the reason I like buying these is not actually even to use as a lunch bag because I find them a bit small and I also find, um, I also find that like it's not waterproof, you know? So like some of my foods get, um, they spill out, they get messy. Um, and this is just, it's a canvas fabric. So like it's gonna get dirty. What I actually buy them for is for knitting because I am a knitter. And I quite like that they have this inner drawstring. Um, whoops handles in the way. So you can kind of close up that bag. If you've got your knitting project, your wool can all be inside and you can be having your knitting project and kind of your, your leading yarn just coming out of the, the hole. Otherwise, it, yeah, it just makes um, smaller knitting projects more portable. So that's why I bought the previous one, the dark green one, and sort of why I bought this one as well. Um, is for, I'm, hope, I'm planning to use it for knitting projects. And I am, pregnant currently and so expecting a baby in July and uh, it's time for me to start knitting baby clothes and and baby things and those are all quite small projects so I thought this would be perfect for baby projects so yeah I'm excited to use that one um, in addition to the one that I already owned but this one's prettier <laughs> um, the other things I picked up at Kiki K so that was let's see that was about $20 for that one um, while I was there they had this guy as well I have to take things out um, uh, I had to buy like they're on sale they were cheap um, I've already used a bunch of these. These are um, the paper clips, the round circular paper clips. I have a bunch at work and uh, you know, they're, they're cheap at the moment. They're trying to clear stock. So I bought some more. Um, I think as soon as I got home, I realized I already had like two jars of these, but that's okay. <laughs> 
I go through a lot of them at work, to be honest, and um, I quite like using them because they're pretty. They're way prettier than regular uh, paper clips. So yeah, I'm happy to have plenty of those around. And I think it was like $2 at that point. Um, I saw this. Now, I kind of wanted it even though I've bought a lot of bags lately and a lot of mesh bags lately, and my husband keeps commenting on how many bags I own. Um, the amount of bags I need is N plus two. So, you know, um, <laughs> it made sense to buy more. But what, I re what really pushed me over the line and said, I, I can buy this, is that it was 50% off. Um, so it was down from $20 to $10. And, you know, like basically I'm making money by buying it. The other reason I bought it was because for my birthday, my husband got me this set. Um, so another mesh bag in a very, very, very similar color, but a bit darker. And I liked the lighter. Uh, they definitely coordinate with each other. So he got me this set from Kiki K that has the, the A5 zippered pouch. It has an A5 notebook in it, and it came with these pens. Um, I'll talk about those in a separate video, I think, and what I'm using this bag for. But I thought those are a bit smaller. They're great for, I feel like they'd be great for my art supplies, my um, travel like watercolor set, things like that. So you can fit pens. Um, it's smaller than A5, so like smaller notebooks and things might fit in there, but otherwise like pens and, and other supplies that I wanna take along on travel. I love just having things pre-packed and just being able to grab it and go, this is what I'm taking uh, you know, on my road trip or on the plane or yeah, makes it self-contained, less mess. I love that. Now, obviously these aren't waterproof like they're, um, <clears throat> they're mesh, so they're holy with watercolors. Um, that could, could get a bit messy, but other pens should be fine. Other notebooks and things like that. So yeah, $10 for that set of two. Um, because they were on special and that coordinates with the one that I've already got. So that was really exciting. And then when I was purchasing, they said because I'd spent over a certain amount and it was apparently International Stationery Day or something ridiculous like that, I got a free set of their, <coughs> excuse me, I got a free set of their Slim Ballpoint Pens, a four pack. Um, I really like the Kiki K Slim Ballpoint Pens. So I, wh whereas normally I try to say like, I don't, I don't want waste, I don't want, I don't want freebies that I'm not actually gonna use, but I will use these. I have a lot of them and um, yeah, I'll use them. Otherwise I'll give them to people that I know love stationery as much as I do. I have lots of coworkers who um, we bond over stationery. So yeah, um, those will get, they'll get some love. And I really like these two stripey ones, the dark green and the dark pink. There's a rose gold one in there too. And then that's their sort of travel, this black one has their tr travel. Um, let's open this up if I can. No, it has stickers on it. I'm not gonna be able to get that. But anyway, let's hold it up. It has their travel logos on it in the sort of rose gold or copper um, debossing, whatever. So that's quite cute. Uh, yeah, they'll get used. No worries about that. Um, so that was my little Wednesday haul for my my day off work. Um, I don't normally, I try, try not to spend too much money on my days off work, seeing as how I, I only work 0.8. So like there's a day off every week. <laughs> and <laughs> if I was to go out and spend this amount of money every week, uh, I'd be a lot poorer than I am right now. And I'm poor enough as it is, so that's fine. <laughs> um, so yes, it was, uh, I thought it was a fun excuse to treat myself having a grand opening of a new book, a uh, new book shop location location. Um, so yeah, that's, that was my excuse. Also, also my birthday was recently. So, you know, there's always an excuse to spoil oneself when your birthday was within the last month, right? Like, yeah, I'm, I can still, I can still claim that. Um, yeah. So that was that Dimmix and Kiki K mini haul from, uh, the Dimmix Adelaide grand opening in their new spot at Regent's Theater. Um, go check them out. You do have to take an escalator to get up. And of course, in typical Dimmick's Adelaide fashion, the escalator broke 
twice on the day while I was there. Like, cause I'd had to go, um, I went in the morning and then I had to leave for my doctor's appointment before I could purchase anything because the queues were so long. So I went back to Dimmick's after my doctor's appointment and well, both times while I was there, I, you heard a loud bang and the escalator stopped working. So that was hilarious. They do have an elevator as well for people um, with like disabilities or um, who can't use an escalator, um, differently abled. Uh, so there is an elevator, but uh, yes, they have typical Dimmix escalator pro problems. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. So definitely check it out if you haven't yet. Thanks for tuning into this video and we'll see you soon.